Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you very much for joining me on this episode of uh, Musician's Corner, episode five. We have the one, the only, Simone. Is that how you pronounce it? If you want to say that, yeah. If you want to say that, sure. <laughs> sure, okay. So we have Simone, uh, or Simon, uh, and he is one of Eastbourne's best kept uh, secrets. He's a little hidden gem. He's a drummer. Uh, he is part of a very, very prestigious trio. Uh, does it have a name? Uh, yeah, so we, we decided to go with Table 20 in the end. Okay, was uh, there a reason behind that? So, uh, Table 20 is um, at the Belgian cafe where we have most of our, our gigs. Uh, and there's a table which we always seem to sit at or we're put at, They're like, you go sit over there. Um, and we, we just kept getting drinks ordered to this table every time we went there and the tab went on this and then we're like, well, what, what table is it? It's Table 20. So it's just a bit of a joke, really. It's, that's where we always sit. And I think in the future, if we do gigs and we get somewhat decent and people want us to play, then whenever we play somewhere, we'll reserve table 20. No one can sit at that table. No, no one will understand why. Uh, absolutely <laughs> amazing. There's just one thing that I will challenge you on, though, as I think you are already far more than decent. So, uh, right. yeah, I, as you guys were here with the with the preview we have later. Um, and that is with Alex and Carries. Carries yeah, Mayer. yeah, fantastic uh, musicians, both of them. Yeah, yeah. It's Absolutely. very nice playing with them both. Yeah, it's good. Okay, uh, and how did you meet, do you mind me asking you? Uh, so I first met Alex. Uh, I moved into a, a big house chair and uh, we got on straight away talking about music. Um, you know, all the good stuff, Led Zeppelin and stuff, we're talking about them all the time. It's, it's good, good times. And he was like, oh, we should go down to this uh, music night. Uh, I think it was a stage door, I think it was. Okay. Um, and then Keris just popped out of nowhere and she just got off a bus and she was like, I think it had been raining and then she was this like crazy like whirlwind. I was like, who was this person? Okay. Um, and it was actually that night. I mean, I hadn't touched a drum kit in like 10 years. Like, um, And obviously it's like an open mic night, so you can go and play if you want. And they persuaded me as much as I did not want to play. They were like, come on, let's do it, let's just do it. So we just, the three random people, I've never met either of them. Did this little mini thing, we did a Nina Simone, I think. Okay, um, awesome. And it was really good. I was like, let's do this, let's do more of this. Was that uh, feeling good by any chance? It was feeling good. Okay, yeah, I course. thought it might be. Uh, but you know, a little jazzy, a little bit quiet, a little down tempo, uh, it's good. That, that's something I, I've seen you play a few times uh, that I think, um, I'm not a drummer by any means, but you can switch really yeah, quickly yeah, like mid-set yeah. between blues and funk and uh, uh, swing even I've, I've heard yeah. you completely change like real quick yeah and like Muse did a fantastic cover of it on uh, one of their albums and theirs is like a really really heavy version of it so we sometimes bring a bit of that in as well um, but yeah it's just one of them really flexible songs um, okay. you just make it work with with what you've got and amazing yeah. amazing and I know that your repertoire is um, really really quite extensive because you've been gigging a lot with the band over the past few months i know that recently there was a bit of a break yeah because you yeah, guys did right, so yeah. much and so you all kind of took a bit of time yeah i think we needed a little bit of a uh, little bit of space i suppose but um we've not done a little a gig in a, in a little while now so i think next time we get together there's going to be a lot of fresh energy there it should be good and, um yeah we'll do some new songs and we're definitely there's a few new songs lined up so and when you say new songs is that you've learned the covers or you guys are coming yeah out? i think we've we've been discussing a few other songs we can do because you know we, we like to play quite a an array of songs that everyone will enjoy you know so there'll be some like classic pop songs in there be a bit of 80s and yeah a bit of a little bit of jazz a little bit of swing in there mm -hmm. some real classics and then there's some like some good blues so it's like getting songs that meet all those criteria and that people are going to recognize but then i think a little wild card now and again um is always a good thing so yeah amazing a little bit of obscurity to keep them guessing yeah and it's just like people hear songs they've never heard before and it, you okay. know it's it's good i think it's a good thing yeah so i mean drummer musician barista you know these are all part of your skills um how did you very first before you started playing with these guys get into drumming uh, so I think um, it's one of them classic things when you're a kid and your parents don't want you wasting your time doing dead end things. They're like, you should learn an instrument or something. And I always admire drummers. I always think it's like a, the amount of sound that you can produce from an acoustic instrument. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not wired up most of the time. It's, it's quite amazing. Um, I think my dad's friend, he was in a like Christian rock band sort of thing. Um, and he's like, oh, you know, he's a really welcoming guy, obviously. And uh, so he gave me a few lessons and, uh, and then I just started playing him like, a band at school lunchtime. and is that when your parents ended their friendship with him <laughs> yeah, yeah the noise yeah um no i mean he sought me out my first drum kit actually it was um it was a pretty basic kit but i like built it up and up and up chucked it in the garage it was in the it was in my bedroom for a little bit even my parents 
didn't like that, obviously, the noise. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just played a few few gigs at school um, and just had a bit of bit of fun with it, really. Um, and then went to college and a friend of mine was trying to get a band together. Okay. He had some, a few original songs which he really wanted to sort of put out there. Mm -hmm. Um, so then we started playing at the stables as it was then um, and yeah again it's like 17 18 been in like a rock band it was, it was just great fun you know we did a couple of like random gigs uh, at the greenhouse I don't know if you remember the greenhouse bar I, no I, I might be either too young or too um, amnesiac right okay yeah so. it was on Mark Lane um, okay uh, you like step down into I think it's uh, Eastbourne Cocktail Club now. Oh, of yeah, course, yeah. okay. Right, um, right. And we knew the guy who was like the manager there, and he was he got a gig there. But I don't think he really heard this like really heavy metal like screamo music, which is what we were playing. Okay. okay. Um, but we managed to get like a hundred of our friends to turn up, and like most Brilliant. of them were underage. Um, <laughs> so they that was, that was back in the days when you could. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, and then um, yeah, half of them were just on the street because then the bouncers just like obviously you can't come in at this point. Okay. It was just it was just a mess, but it was such good fun. Like, I think one of the speakers ended up falling on the floor in the oh, end. Mate, like, dropped his guitar and broke it, and it was just it was so much, so much fun. Let's hope <laughs> it's a little bit of a calmer one today. Yeah, because I, I can't afford can any repairs at the moment. So, no. Yeah. No. Um, and just based quickly uh, with, with the backdrop and the settings, where are we, Simon? Uh, so this is uh, my joiners' workshop, and I say my. It's something I share with my dad. Um, he started it all up, and I'm slowly taking the reins um, but yeah this is our joinery shop where we make uh, cabinets and furniture and staircase things like that do you make any or design any of your drum kits here or, or is there any associations between um, woodwork and music um, no I mean I've got my cajon which um, I, I didn't make that would be a nice thing to have made I did look at making them but um, I think something perhaps I'll do in the future uh, you know they finally tune how they manufacture these pieces to make them sound good Okay, brilliant. So, um, now that I've got one, perhaps I can make my own. Yeah, why not? Maybe, maybe steal the design, make sure it's not copyrighted. Yeah, certainly. Um, awesome. Well, thanks very much for sitting down with me today. Uh, the, the last question I'll leave you with, what advice would you give, uh, or will you give, uh, anyone thinking of dipping their fingers and toes in music, maybe just as a hobby or as a career thing? What is, um, what is worth considering? What is worth considering? Wow. Um, I guess, um, you just need to like follow the musicians that you enjoy listening to you know like when you've had a really great day or when you've had a really bad day like what is that music that you put on to sort of switch off um, I think that is something which I do all the time it's just a really powerful tool you know um, so if you want to get in, into music that's like what are those bands that that create those emotions for you um, that should be what inspires you I think um, you know if you're hearing that guitar in the song if that's the main thing you're hearing and that's obviously what you're picking up and that's okay. what matters to you sure that's, sure that's a good thing yeah okay brilliant so feel it yeah absolutely feel it okay yeah. nice one that's uh, <laughs> that's that is amazing advice and it's simple advice so we can all follow that no problem uh would you mind if we had a little preview of your of your skills i can give it a go i've not played in a, in a week or so so i might be a little rusty ah uh, okay little mess around. awesome okay let's go Thank you. 
tell you what, I've never been embarrassed in my playing in my whole life, mate. Oh, really? Yeah. Surely. Oh, you sounded great, bro. I don't know, man. I sort of agree with you on that. <laughs>